All right, so uh, let's get started. Um, this shouldn't take very long at all. We're just doing some follow-up uh, interviews with our finalists. We received over 800, over 800, over 800 uh, applications for our program this year. So we want to give everybody a fair fighting chance here. But if you could just start by telling me your name and your high school, please. My name is Ifeloa Akinsanya. I'm Rashid Hussain. I'm Sydney Wilms. I'm Mallory Agner, and I go to Lake Braddock Secondary School. If you think back to the last four years, what is something that you are the most proud of? This is your time to shine. Um, don't be bashful. It can be something that you included in your application or not. Whatever you'd like to share with us, what are you most proud of? I would probably say founding a service club at my high school, TJ Give. Recently with National Honor Society, uh, I helped run this project where we gave out a bunch of like pa uh, care packages basically to uh, the elderly, homeless, and uh, some veterans. I have been doing an internship with um, Paula Ayala, which is in my freshman year, she was the delegate for my county, um, Prince William County. But then she moved on to running for Lieutenant Governor and now she's running for State Senate. I founded a little tutoring service called Glow Tutoring um, during the pandemic. I made a website for, for the company trying to make it look all professional and stuff. I got a couple of students and so I taught them some math, basic math concepts, um, did some SAT prep. Um, and at the end of the day, um, I didn't make a lot of a huge amount of money, but it was enough to cover a couple of months worth of grocery bales and stuff like that. If you were to be a winner of this $3,000 um, scholarship, how would that impact you? What would that mean to you? That would make me feel like the luckiest person on the planet, honestly. Well, as I approach college, I'm sort of going to have to uh, take out a lot of student loans, no matter how the math works out. That scholarship opportunity, that you know, recognition would help me um, reach my goals to be you know, a successful environmental engineering student or whatever I pursue there. There's still like a, like a gap, financial gap. Um, and I think that it's a little bit harder for my family to afford that because like my dad lost his job like right before COVID happened. My mom, my mom works multiple jobs. She works as a cafeteria worker. She works on the weekends as well. She's always working. I, I love her and she's um, always said even even though we're not in the best economic situation, financial situation, she's always said that she would take no shortcuts when it came to my education. Um, I just realized I've actually got the incorrect background up, so I have to get the right one up. Hang on a second, <laughs> I do that. Oh, that's because this is not an interview. You're one of our winners. You're a winner. <gasps> oh, You're one of our... You're a winner. No Steve way. Dad. What? You won. Are you there? You froze like at the exact. <laughs> you froze at the moment that I was telling you that you won. My mom is crying behind me right now. <laughs> well, this is like the best part of my day. I love this time oh. of year and I love having these conversations because truly you are amazing. It wasn't just your application, but the the things that your recommenders had to say. Um, and if this makes it that much easier on you and your family, we couldn't be prouder mm -hmm. to, to give this scholarship to you. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. I love this background. That is so funny. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my, I want to like, I want to tell everyone I know right now. Yay, thank you. When I was little, I used to go to the bank with my dad and I'd always like look and see the pictures of the scholarship winners for each year. And I'm just like, that's cool. And now I did it. <laughs> oh my gosh.